Hi friends, welcome back to another Sims 4 build challenge video. Today, we are going to be doing the floating house challenge. That's it, just a floating house. I'm gonna show you how to do it. I've got a story prepared for this and it's a little wild, okay? I'll warn you. Make sure you're watching this video in a nice, comfy, seated, relaxing environment because it's gonna be a trust the process. Build, story, and video, okay? So get yourselves comfy <laughs> and listen to the story of Cindy Land. This is gonna be a tale of two sisters, Mauve and Claudette Simziella, and they live in Simziland, which is what we're gonna build today. Uh, why would you name it Simziland? The reason why I named them, it's nothing exciting, by the way, and not related to Lil Simzy at all. I mean, maybe it is, but okay, look, if you set your Sims to proper, okay, they're gonna do a little bow, and I swear to you, she says, all hell Simzy in Simlish. I am willing to bet. Yeah, sure she did. Listen, listen. Gurgadon, Durfna. That was that wasn't it. Sul, Sul, Spinaya. That wasn't it either. You're embarrassing me, Claudette. Burgadon, Durfna. Watushu Yib Simsi. Watushu Yib Simsi. Watushu Yib Simsi. She said it. Watushi of the Simsi. Okay? <laughs> that says all hail little Simsi. I made it up now. She's literally saying it while bowing. Come on. <laughs> when I was making these Sims, I realized that and that's it. Simsi land. We're going to check back in with them in a minute. I'm going to first show you how you can do the floating house challenge yourself. So basically, we're going to start out building a room. I'm going to go ahead and build an octagon. Once you got your room built, we're gonna page up and I'm gonna copy and paste that room directly on top of the one that I just built. And now you're able to go ahead and delete the room underneath and you're left with this room, which is going to be floating. It's gonna have that floating effect. You can click on the room in the middle and raise this up and down and that's gonna adjust the height of your room. So it could really be wherever you want. And you might be wondering, Sid, how the heck do I get up there if I don't have any stairs and no ladder? Well, I'm gonna show you. I looked this up and it said that I needed testing cheats on, but I don't have it. I'm just gonna shift Shift click and press teleport here. I do this literally all the time because I am impatient and your sim will literally teleport to the place that you want them to go. So there she is now on top of the roof and I can shift teleport here and get her down. So basically what I could do is teleport my sim inside the house, have them do their thing and then teleport them out when I don't want them there anymore. <laughs> or you could just build stairs, but whatever you want. Anyway, so that's the challenge, but I'm not gonna build just a regular freaking Wizard of Oz floating house. No, I'm gonna build a royal cloud aesthetic. Simsy land. <laughs> I'm gonna build rooms out to kind of connect them to other octagons. I also kind of want to add little towers coming off the side too to add a little bit of dimension. I think this is gonna be my shell. It looks a little crazy right now, but it's gonna work. I want to use Romantic Garden for roofing. I've been doing this a lot because I love the dome shape. I don't know if you guys saw my video the other day, but I did this like royal treehouse garden thing on my channel and I was like, it would be really cool if I expanded on the universe of that build. This might be a similar style, but this is definitely going to be more of like a pink royal aesthetic, gold, pink, a little bit of like baby blue in there. It's very beautiful, very detailed. So this is our inspiration and our aesthetic for today's build. I'm gonna use these roofing pieces here, but I'm gonna hold shift C on my keyboard so that I open up like those extra adjusters there. And then I'm just gonna play around with it. And then the roof paint I'm gonna use is this one here from base game. We're gonna get our paint on here. I think I'm gonna be using this brick also from base game, just a white brick. I'm planning on putting a lot of detail onto the actual exterior here. So I don't even think I'm gonna go in with any other wallpaper other than that. And then I'm gonna use this thick trim and I think I might play around with a different variety of them just to see what works. Different textures on this build. The game thinks that this is a second floor here so I'm able to put trim on the bottom of my build. And then I do want to connect these together. I want to put like stairs together or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a floor piece. I'm gonna place it there and then pull it all the way across. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one and then we're gonna pull that all the way across. And I'm basically basically just gonna try and connect stairs on there and then clean it up after because I've kind of made a mess. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah, so we can get that, pull these across, and then I should be able to just like bring it back and bring this back. <gasps> Ooh, wait, that looks so pretty. I feel like I need to put something like in the middle here. For this part here, I want these to be bridges. So I'm gonna go in with some pink romantic garden columns here, basically just along the entire thing for these like rectangle portions. And I'm hoping that with trim and with some spandrels, this is going to look so pretty. And then for my fence, Get Together has these like ruin pieces, which 
which look like run down and ruined, obviously. Wait, this is called rail against the machine? Rail against the machine. So I've been playing around trying to see what kind of detail that I want to be on these. So I'm using these base game wall mounted things along with this base game window at the tallest wall height. That's the only window that I've been using for the entire thing so far. We've got our Roman columns. And then the only other thing that I added, I do have move objects on. I added this gate and it just acts as like a little lower piece. And zoomed out, I feel like it looks really cool. I'm gonna do it on every single one of the bigger towers. And then on the smaller one, Discover University has this like tiny window. It looks like this. I think I'm gonna use that only on the smaller towers. Also look at that background, it's so pretty. Okay, so I don't wanna stop here. I know this is already so extra. We're gonna take it one step further. I love to do that on this channel. We're gonna use the cloud light. I've actually had a lot of technical difficulties behind the scene with my game. So <laughs> if this is all over the place, I apologize. It's cause it is. So we're gonna raise this up and we're gonna make it look like this build is floating on clouds. I'm gonna combine that pink royal romantic aesthetic with like this fantasy cloud aesthetic. And I'm gonna post a picture of what I'm referring to as well because I've seen this. It's one of my favorite aesthetics, it's so pretty. Um, So we're just gonna bring that into this build. And I've done this before. So a little bit finicky to do because you kind of have to hide those like sticks, those things hanging out that make the light like hang. We're gonna have to get creative in finding a way to hide those, but that's kind of gonna be the, the direction that I'm heading here. I've been debating on what to put in the middle of this thing, but Romantic Garden again. I don't know where this random obsession is coming from with Romantic Garden, but I'm gonna run with it. Give it like a month. I'm sure I'll be over this phase. We're just gonna size this up, put it right in the middle. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's like a, that's so pretty. It's such a like fantasy kind of feeling. This is so pretty with the lighting. I can't get over it. This is the outside done. We're gonna go inside. I'm gonna start to furnish this and I'm gonna tell you the tale of the two sisters of Simsy Land, the Simziella sisters. Let's start here because this is going to be the most important room to this entire story. This is going to be the piano room. So growing up, this was a very secluded household. This is before the hustle and bustle of Henford on Bagley. It was a very quiet place. And Simsy Land is located deep in the forest. It's quite the trek to get there. So the royal family does a lot of their business behind closed doors. And that means that no one really gets to see this family. They've heard of them. They know that there's two daughters living here, you know, but that's about it. This is a very secluded lifestyle that they live. The daughters weren't allowed to leave the house, but they loved music. They were highly, highly talented growing up and their parents noticed this. They recognized the talent that their daughters had and they were encouraged to continue to practice that. As as the girls got older, their talents obviously got sharper and they evolved into different forms of music. So one of the daughters would play the piano and the other one would sing and they were very good at it. Like angelic status. They were really, really, really good is what I'm trying to say. So this is going to be the music room where they practiced all of their skills growing up. This is going to be Mauve's room. She's the younger sister and she is also the piano player. So because this family was so secluded and because no one ever saw this family, their parents realized that they could sell their music and they could take the credit. Freaking awful if you ask me. That's why this story is so sad. They literally exploited Mauve and took her talent and claimed it as their own. Made so much money off of it because she was that good. So Mauve, our piano playing Sim, didn't know that her parents were taking the credit for it. Because they were so secluded, how could she have known? This is looking so pretty. This is going to be at Mauve's bedroom. I am gonna include a walkthrough later on. I did see your comment of you guys asking, so that's coming later. So so we've got our bedroom, we've got our piano room, and I also made this little room here with two Freezer Bunny guitars. Literally just that in it. <laughs> just going with the music theme. But now we're gonna come downstairs and do Claudette's bedroom, and she is the older sister. Growing up, Claudette did not get as much attention as Mauve did. Even though she was equally as talented as a musician, she was a singer. And when she grew up, her parents kind of realized that they weren't going to be able to make any money off of her, because if they sold her music, people would hear her voice and know that it wasn't them. With Mauve, no one can ever hear her so they can get away with selling it. So growing up, Claudette was definitely not treated as well as Mauve. There was definitely a lot of favoritism being shown. And also, even though she was great, Claudette didn't know her full potential. Once her parents realized that they couldn't make any money off of her, they decided to put all of their efforts into Mauve, thus ignoring Claudette. And you can see how there would be a little bit of tension here, right? Obviously, that's gonna make Claudette pretty freaking sad and upset. Meow. 
By the way, in this room, I'm just making a little walk-in closet. I'm using Get Famous shoe racks in there. Ooh, this chair from Discover University is really cute. So this is gonna be Claudette's bedroom. And it's funny too, because it's lower. So it's on like the bottom floor. So it's really signifying how ignored she was. We're gonna attempt the living room. So this happened well into their adulthood. It was their entire lives that these girls were dealing with this until one day, the parents mysteriously died <laughs> or disappeared, whichever you prefer, but I think they died. And for a long time, the girls stopped making music because after all, it was the parents that were pushing them so hard to do it. Years and years went by, the girls were quiet, no music was being made until one day they started to pick it back up again. And at this point, Hemford on Bagley started to be a little bit more bustling. They started throwing fairs, festivals, more and more people started coming here. And then one day, someone was just hiking through the forest, enjoying the lovely smell of nature and the bugs and the, all of it. <laughs> and on their journey, they could hear this beautiful melody of piano and sing-song voice. It was pulling them in. So this is our living room. This is how this has turned out. Ooh, look at this big clock with that light. This is from Get Together. I just shrunk it because it's normally this size, but I think it looks so fancy and pretty and builds like this. Plus the lighting from the roof. I'm very in love. I also did another little like violin room right in here. So there's a couple violins and they're guarded by knights, obviously. Royalty, come on. I just made this room too. This was the final big room that I had left and I made it into a kitchen slash dining with like dividers. I thought it would be cool if we could like hire someone to do the cooking and then the girls would just like sit out here. I also did a couple of bathrooms in this style too. These are just using the Realm of Magic and Get Famous items in the gold swatches. And yeah, bathroom, bathroom, music room, music room. There's a lot of music in this build, but I think this is it complete. And we're gonna finish the story with a walkthrough. Take it away, editing Sid. So the hiker followed the sound of music and came across the beautiful floating house of Henford for the first time. When the hiker heard the music, she was reminded of when she was a little girl, listening to the same melodies while walking through the town square. The sisters were confused, so she brought them into town to let them hear for themselves. After this realization, the girls found their love for music again, but this time they were inspired to play on their own agendas, performing when they feel expressive rather than feeling forced. Now it is known that if explorers of the forest are lucky, they might be able to hear the two sisters playing their beautiful music as a duet, playing more joyously in their cloud home, sounding even more harmonious than before. So that is all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this build. It will be on the gallery and I'll put the sims that I made it for on the gallery as well, but keep in mind they do have custom content on. I hope you guys like this format of video and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.